is The Sin Pit. I'm your host, Sean Cole, and welcome to this week's edition of The Pit Stop, where we're here to talk about our favorite sport, hobby, common interest, that being sim racing, and talking about all the wonderful things that have gone on this week in, in our sport. So, lots going on. Uh, well, I, I take that back. A little bit slower week today, or this week than the last two weeks. Probably not a surprise. I think people are now, not just uh, earlier in the month, we saw people trying to finish things up for the year, finish out 2020 strong, right? And I think now we're starting to see that trend where people are trying to focus or switch into the holiday season, vacation time coming up. Uh, here at the Sim Pit, we're planning a lot of extra races through the holiday, a couple of weekends where people are probably sitting at home with maybe not always something to do. So we'll be hosting some races through the holiday season to keep people entertained. But I think that's where we are seeing a switch in the news this week. So maybe it'll be a little bit slower until the end of the year. Also, next week, uh, as of now, there is no pit stop. Next week is Christmas morning. So I wish you all a Merry Christmas right now. If you don't see me next Friday, it's because I'm uh, under the tree digging out presents, hanging out with my family. Hopefully you're enjoying the holidays as well. So next Friday, there will be no pit stop. We might throw a surprise at you, but we're not guaranteeing anything. And then the following week is actually New Year's Day, and I think it'll probably be the same story. So we're probably looking at no pit stops officially between now and the new year. However, we, again, might throw some uh, some uh, surprises at you, and we will have some racing going on. So you're going to want to get into our Discord channel. If you type in exclamation mark Discord, it'll give you a link to our Discord channel. There is where you will find the last-minute information if we're pulling together any racing efforts or having any fun events through the Sim Pit. Um, I forgot to put up my thumbnail today. Yeah, we were supposed to start the show off with that. Not a big deal, because we're just going to get right to the news and try to get this show finished up and move on to the endless amount of great things that we have going on in the studio. Um, one other thing I do want to mention, I don't have a link right here, but we did do a review last week of the Next Level Racing GT Lite cockpit or pool chair. It looks like pool furniture to me, the way it folds up, the way it sits and holds you. However, believe it or not, at 229, it is a complete rig. And if you're looking for a review on it, just check out the GT Lite review by the Simpit on the Simpit at YouTube. So what is going on in sim racing? Starting off with iRacing, they posted an announcement here. I'm going to play the video. Um, this is Sebastian Job. And this year, Autosport, which is a, a motorsport uh, media channel, uh, they introduced a new category called Auto, uh, for the Autosport Awards 2020, and this one was uh, the first eSport Driver of the Year. And so their pick for the Driver of the Year 2020, the eSport Driver of the Year 2020, is none other than Sebastian Joe. He goes by the name GT, G2 Sebi. You've seen him all over the place in terms of on the leaderboards of all sorts of different uh, eSport competitions going on. So there's the car he runs in iRacing. And uh, yeah, congratulations to him on a on a great year, great 2020. And in addition to that, being named the, the driver of the year. Uh, I think I had a little bit more news for my racing. What was the other little bit of news I want to talk about? At I oh, I know what it is. I know what it is here. By the way, this is a post. I don't know how old this is, but Ty Majeski posted, excited to race the Champions Fall Brawl tonight. Look at this. He literally a picture of an old G29. Um, I wonder if that's what... He, I wouldn't be surprised if that's what he runs. It's all it takes. People ask me all the time. Anyway, here it is. All right. Revealed. The new BMW. Uh, the BMW Charger. We we drove this yesterday just for some fun to check it out. The new BMW M4 GT3. And we were all laughing at how that is just such a Dodge Charger grill thrown on... I'm not even going to call it a BMW shape. Some other shape. Anyway, uh, the GT4. A real fun car to drive. The sounds were a little less exciting than I was hoping for. Here, we got a, a video of it as well. I don't know if they paid for them, but we'll leave. We'll turn off the music. So, again, this is the one I, I'm glad they just... There it is. There it is. Did you see it? Did you see it? That's the wheel in the car. That is not the Fanatic rim that you can put on your podium. That is the Fanatic wheel. 
which is also the car that goes in the GT. There it is. So that just came out yesterday for iRacing. Fun car. Uh, it'll be a nice addition to the GT3 lineup. I don't think it was as exciting as the Lamborghini in that it was a little bit more sure-footed. I'm not sure if it was as fast, but it was more sure-footed, a little bit easier to drive, and the sounds were a little kazooey. Uh, the sounds could change. They're calling it a prototype because this car doesn't, in fact, even exist yet. Um, so maybe we'll see some changes when the car gets into production levels. Assetto Corsa, uh, they made an announcement two days ago talking about PS4 and Xbox One players. The 2020 GT World Challenge Pack DLC is coming in January. So you kind of have to hold out. The PC users have had it, but that will now be available in January for your console users. If you're a season pass owner, this DLC will just be automatic come out. And it includes that Ferrari 488 GT3 Evo and the Mercedes AMG GT3 Evo 2020, as well as the Imola circuit. So good news for console players of a Soto Corsa Competizione. I think that's all we had there. Uh, launching today, 20... Uh, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, I'm sorry. I, I psyched on that. That's November. I was like, that. I've already driven that. Uh, R-Factor. Updates, fixes, tweaks, and improvements. Spreading some love to a few of our tracks. Read more on what changed here. So R-Factor had a dev update. And here it's their December 2020 track update post. Talking about updates for Spa, Nürburgring, or Nordschleife, uh, Portland, PIR, Hong Kong, uh, Botnia Ring, and we already talked about the Elector. Remember, we talked about this last week. We also talked about this on 3 Wide on Saturday. The Electric uh, RX, RCCO X0 Extreme Racing by R-Factor. Uh, remember that thought. We're going to come back to that in a second. Uh, but we did talk about that on 3 Wide this week. Um, give me a moment to come back to that. Now, uh, a while ago, we talked about Take 2 buying... Codemasters, and it was going to be a billion dollar deal. And I guess the ink had not been written or the signatures had not been made. Uh, EA is now agreeing to pay $1.2 billion for the acquisition of Codemasters. I agree. I agree. I'm a bit outraged on this one. Um, I, you know, I wasn't thrilled when Code, I wasn't thrilled when Project Cars are, are uh, uh, slightly mad was bought by Codemasters. I thought it robbed the world of a development house for our favorite sport, sim racing. But it happened. Um, when Take-Two announced they are buying Codemasters, I thought, oh, I don't know. You know, Codemasters, they've done their thing. Um, unapologetically, and you could argue whether they're the right direction or the wrong direction, whatever. But um, I don't like the idea of what has been the racing sim company being gobbled up by anybody, Take-Two at least had such a great reputation. Now, as a longtime gamer, I'm going to tell you, EA, you know, you go back into the 80s, 90s, EA was the best of the best. EA, it's in the game. EA, it's in the game. And that phrase for me and my friends later into the 90s became, EA, it's really lame. And I, I know that's corny. I'm not really trying to make that point. I'm just saying... EA's reputation has gone downhill. EA has a reputation of buying companies like this and then immediately looking at that spreadsheet and saying, well, which one of those columns is least profitable because we're going to kill it? Um, I have no faith or trust that EA is the right place for Codemasters and its lineup of racing titles. That's Formula One. That's Dirt. That's Dirt Rally. That's Grid. That's Project Cars now. Um, I don't... I'm not optimistic on this one. I, 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 I remained optimistic when we were talking about Take Two. Uh, I would rather it not happen, have happened, but I was optimistic. And now I am bordering on just straight up disappointment or, or pessimistic. Um, you know, everyone's allowed to make money in this world. Good for you, Codemasters, making that kind of value out of your company. And at the same time, thank you. <laughs> I, I meant that very, very sarcastically. Now, speaking of Codemasters, speaking of slightly mad or 
speaking of project cars, you know, we could we could get into a whole hour long discussion on project cars, project cars two, project cars three. Just using those three as an example. And the marketing that Slightly Mad has made that coincided with the three different versions of the game. And, and I think of a, a, a gaming franchise, and I can't think of many that have made more change while maintaining the same thing than Project Cars 1, 2, and 3. For me, Project Cars 3 was a giant letdown, personally. Uh, Project Cars 2 had a really special place in sim racing. It it carved out a niche that was very unique. So despite motorsport games all being very similar, you know, cars, tracks, racing, um, Project Cars 2 had its own niche. And it did some things better than others. When we talk about Sim Frankenstein or Sim Pizza, uh, Project Cars 2 had elements of their sim that everybody should have been copying. Project Cars 3 was not Project Cars 2. Uh, for many, Project Cars 3 was a giant step backward, certainly in the sim scale of things. Um, on the gaming side, that's a different story. But it also came with the typical slightly mad marketing jargon to go along with it, and, and, and I think that's what probably upset a few people. Anyway, this right here, talk about, you know, I just, today is not a good day for Codemasters in my book. Um, you know, the, the selling out to EA is selling out in the, in the lowest sense of the word or form, maybe the most lucrative, but selling out, selling out. Um, and then the other is this, and, and, and this was at B-Sim, by the way. So B-Sim Racing wrote this article up and the flamboyant and always enthusiastic founder and CEO of Slightly Mad Studios, I'm not a big fan. Ian Bell is no stranger on various social media channels. From time to time, Ian Bell rejoices and annoys the public with his views and statements that sometimes can be looked at as being slightly controversial. That's exactly right. Ian Bell, I'm not a big fan of yours. Sorry, I've known of you. I've dealt with you for 15 years. Not impressed. Good at, again, maybe good at making money. Maybe not the best human being on earth. I Maybe I'm passing too much judgment there. But, um... In their latest statement, where is the quote? Where is the quote? Because it's just so... you got to be kidding me. Um, um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Do you like every leaf shadowing every other leaf? I do. Picars 4 will be the most realistic simulation ever made in every area, in every way. Shut up, Ian. Shut up. You don't know. You don't deserve to make a statement like that in my book. Uh, you have taken us so, down so many rabbit holes of implied marketing that I don't even want to hear this from you. And the fact that you are sold to Codemasters, which is now being sold to perhaps EA, I have zero faith in you, your team, or your company at this point. Sorry, I don't want to be that kind of pessimist, but you got to be kidding me on the heels of Project Cars 3 that you're going to make that kind of statement while I'm still a little burned that I had to pay money for that garbage. All right. Codemasters drives hands, face, space messaging into Dirt Rally 2.0 and Grid. So now when you play Dirt Rally 2 and Grid, you are going to be met with... Um, this... Hey, this isn't what they're supposed to show me. No. Where'd it go? It was a little graphic that shows you... To wear your, wash your hands, wear your mask, and social distance. Um, anyway, hands, face, and space. That's what that whole thing is. They are integrating that into uh, Dirt Rally 2.0 and Grid. Um, anyway, uh, so anyway, in addition to that Dirt, there is a Dirt 5 Update 2.0 that is rolling out. Update 2.0 for Dirt 5 begins rolling out today and includes the free Snow Limits content pack available to all players. Also, wheel support on all platforms. PC re receives the update today. This is on the 15th, followed by PlayStation and Xbox in the coming days. Snow Limits free content pack. That's pretty cool. Gotta like that from uh, Dirt, Dirt 5. And is that all I had to say about that? Um, where's the face mask thing? 
Was it on here? I don't know where I saw that this morning. There it is. That's what we were looking for. Okay, snowpack, we talked about that. We're all good. I uh, want to congratulate a big champion, uh, Formula One the game. Huge congratulations to Yarno Otmir, their brand new 2020 F1 eSport champion. So after all the dust has settled in the 2020 F1 eSport champions, uh, race, uh, championship, Yarno Otmir of Alfa Romeo Racing Orlean F1 eSport team is the champion. And on the team side of things, what an incredible back-to-back -back F1 eSport team victory for Red Bull Racing. So there is Red Bull Racing, the team champions, and there's Yarno Otmir, our solo, uh, the champion, we should say, in F1 2020 for this year. Uh, moving over to NASCAR Heat, the December DLC is now available. So if you wanted some new cars in that, you've got a bunch of paint schemes. we got a bunch of... Kyle Busch, Ty Dillon, Denny Hamlin, Matt Kenseth, Michael McDowell, Tyler Reddick, Bubba Wallace, some Xfinity cars, some truck cars, and some other things in their latest DLC. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, heads up. So uh, last week, might have been, might have been two weeks ago, I talked about all of the world finals, constructor finals, all of, they announced the full schedule for December coming up and that all begins today the 18th so if you're looking for some Gran Turismo entertainment uh, today at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time is going to be the GR Super GT Cup Final and then uh, tomorrow we're going to have the Manufacturing Series Final on the 20th is going to be the Nations Cup so we've got Gran Turismo entertainment uh, you'll find links on their news page or their Twitter page. Again, I always put the links to everything we talk about down below. Here's a little post here by them at Gran Turismo. And then you have some videos of, of some anticipation building up on cars and the events and who, the who's who and all that stuff. Uh, you're going to have the usual Tom Brooks and Jimmy Broadbent bringing you the action from their incredible studio and all that good stuff. So again, today, tomorrow, and the next day is when we're going to have all the Gran Turismo World Finals to wrap up 2020 going on. I think on last week we mentioned the new Audi R8 LMS GT3 Evo being added to race room. Jeez, GT3s are the, the sluts of sim racing, aren't they? Uh, anyway, we have a couple shots here of the Audi that we can look at. That was my screenshot of the day. We didn't use it, but there it is. Nice looking car, good addition to race room for their GT3 class. And I think that's all we had from race room. Oh, nope, here it is. Remember we talked about that RXXO, or RCCO X electric car uh, that R Factor was adding? We, on three wide, we talked about electric cars and this new trendy push. Are electric cars the sluts of sim racing right now? Every sim got to jump on something. Uh, we've seen the Volkswagen IDR in other game sims. Anyway, it is now going to be available in race room in December. So another electric supercar being added to another sim as I'm still trying to get used to the new era, the dawn and the new era. That's what we talked about when we talked about it on three wide it was just what is this you know green push in sim racing in addition to that on the 21st that's monday the december update will drop so uh december 1st uh 21st i'm sorry next monday is when you're gonna do that they got 9,000 people on their discord we are far from that we need to do better people all right look at this post this is four days ago by thrustmaster thrustmaster 2021 What do you see? What don't you see? Definitely a formula rim. It looks like it might have dual clutch uh, or four levers on the back, perhaps. At first, I thought that was a new wheelbase behind it. And I'm like, no, I think those are the shifter levers. Uh, I see two rotary dials right in the thumb position, for sure. I see two upper dials uh, going that way, for sure. This looks like maybe a move towards a more high-end rim from Thrustmaster, which would be really great to see at this point. 
Uh, but we don't know. That's all we get is the silhouette coming in 2021. So we have things to look forward to in the new year already. Speaking of which, Fnatic. They've now got their new version. CSL Elite Steering Wheel McLaren GT3 V2. Now with magnetic shifters. Shift just got real. So there is the new magnetic shifter version of one of the la lower priced wheels out of Fnatic. Uh, and then in their blog, they mention and talk about it more. The McLaren GT3 is back and better than ever. We have a little video. So they're saying, following their podium steering wheel BMW M4 GT3 announcement, you'll have plenty of requests for a GT3 three wheel in a lower price bracket and something for Xbox owners. So here it is again. So they've upgraded the new wheel. And this is the lowest price wheel in the Fnatic range with an OLED display, now in white. Um, boop, boop, boop. There's the new quick release. Tool-free simplified quick release. And there you go. Order today. It's available. Order today. They give us a price? I didn't see a price. Did you? I do not see a price. Nope. Nope. Okay. We well, can go check it out or you guys can go check it out. I don't have that link here. Uh, Rick Motek, a uh, big congratulations to Elvis Rankin. Uh, he won Hot Lap Pump Day on Wednesday, and with that, he clinched the championship in the Hot Lap Pump Day competition for 2020. He is the 2020 champion of the Rick Motek Hot Lap Pump Day, and he won like seven of the 12. Uh, he, he says that next season he'll be coming back, uh, but maybe not for every race like he did this season, kind of pulling a mic down and let others have a, a chance to win. <laughs> so anyway, congratulations to you. Good guy, good friend of the show, and uh, we look forward to the future of him. Uh, this is from Euro Truck Simulator. Christmas Wise Giving Event 2020. Last year, we asked the community to spread the spirit of Christmas giving across all territories in the Christmas Grand Giving Event 2019. The response was outspan outstanding, and we all did ourselves proud. Uh, they are running a similar giving event for 2020 with both Euro Truck and American Truck Simulator. And looking to, let's see, here are the rules. Um, giving hearts. Using external contracts with the World of Trucks connected profile in Euro Truck Simulator or ATS or both. The goal is to get as many hearts and gifts as possible awarded to as many cities as possible across all trucking territories. Every city can achieve up to five hearts and five gifts. For city gain one heart, the community must make a thousand deliveries from it. And for a gift, a thousand deliveries to it, providing the gift's cargo. Each tier of 350 hearts gifts combined with an unlocked unique community reward. For a personal goal, complete at least 15 deliveries of gifts cargo in either sim, and you will have done the personal. Anyway, uh, so there you go. Rewards. Your contribution of 15 or more deliveries get you the World of Trucks Achievement, a Christmas-themed winter blast paint job to help carry more gifts during the event. So, anyway, uh, go take part in that. That's a good thing to do. Go be part of that, for sure. Uh, Euro Truck Cabin Accessories DLC update. So there is an update for both, by the way. Uh, from coffee cups to air fresheners, laptops, the possibilities for cab customizations are customizations are almost endless. So I guess there's been an update to that, uh, which is pretty cool. So I'm very impressed with that what they do. I, I wasn't going to mention this until I got deeper into it. Somebody posted this in our, our news channel, uh, a new company. Uh, I'm actually talking to these guys. In fact, I'm doing more than talking. IMB Racewear. Uh, they're a new company making racing wear for sim racing. I mean, if you think about gloves, one of the reasons I don't wear gloves is a lot of racing gloves are fireproof and they're like multiple layered and they're very thick and cumbersome uh, for sim racing. I mean, to save my life in a real car, sure. But for sim racing, that seems a little excessive. Anyway, 
IMB make custom sim racing gear. So, for example, I have a pair of gloves right here. This is the Sim Pit style with the American flag because I'm American. Uh, they got a grippy interior. Anyway, they're nice because they're thin. Not thin. They're actually thick Lycra or thin for uh, racing gear. Uh, this is the short version. They also make the full length version. Another pair in Sim Pit colors. I have to demonstrate them properly, of course. There you go. And this one, we have the Sim Pit logo carrying onto the thumbs. Anyway, um, these are something that I'm going to be trying out, testing, and reviewing. And we're going to be looking at more gear. But if you're looking for sim racing gear, maybe it's time for Dad to have a Christmas present for himself. I don't think I'd make it there. Uh, but they make socks. They make shoes. They make jerseys. They make gloves. They make all sorts of sim racing gear. Check out imbracewear.com and get ahead of the game because, I, like I said, I got a review coming. Let's see. This was just another post that was given in. I've never heard of these guys. So Kaz Grala tweeted this. My furry race car simulator is complete. We designed it around a real race car in, every, in the very same seating position and chassis rigidity while incorporating every detail into a sim, race, a sim racer could want. Uh, perfect for his apartment. So even though it wasn't in Reddit, I really liked this sim. Look at this thing. This is a well... I mean, obviously purpose-built to hold that podium base. You can see those extensions for the... It's not even a wheel deck. It's got two wheel arms to hold that wheel. Really nice, really clean design. Maybe motivation for you out there if you're looking to build your own rig. Maybe you'll bend and weld some tubing. Also, do you guys notice the cup holder sitting there next to the shifter? Gotta love that. All right, we're gonna look at a few rigs. We're gonna talk about some sim pit racing and then we're gonna call it a day here. Uh, this one posted by 2 Helson 2 DIY sim rig finally complete. At first I thought, God, that just looks like another, you know, uh, what, uh, uh, a profile rig. But it turns out, no, it's not. If you look deep, look, that's tubing. Drilled and bolted together. Just regular box tubing. And look, this was a play seat originally. This guy had a play seat and he's like, well, I already got a seat and he must be comfortable enough. Let's build the seat into the new rig little wheel holder even, runs in VR, nice and tidy, doesn't take much space, he's got a handbrake and a shifter, pretty thorough. This one I liked, this was by BT, BTM Autosport. 2020 has helped him, his sim rig build come along nicely. Yes, this is a room under his stairs and he calls it the Harry Potter room. So yeah, look at him with his green lighting under the stairs in his Harry Potter room. Cup holder mounted to the wall. I need to get a cup holder. There's no excuse for me not having a cup holder in here. He's got flight gear. He's got racing gear. All of that tucked in the ha the uh, <laughs> Harry Potter room under the stairs. <laughs> We've seen quite a few of those on the show under those stair rigs. This is posted by Cody 4 King. Slowly building the perfect rig. New edition of a 43-inch curved gaming screen and a base sh shaker. And I just like seeing people's evolution of their own rig looks like a hodgepodge of multiple different methods he's got a racing chair he's got some cool keyboard articulating locking keyboard holder with a tablet holder above that is but look his monitor is just sitting on a on a little tray little stand of sorts anyway good good job of just putting together whatever it takes as your sim rig evolves and i think that's what i'm trying to point out they are an evolution our sim rigs are never done Felix Isda posted this one, and I just like the nightlight. I gotta say, I like nightlight. I was talking about the Fnatic wheel and how much I like the light-up buttons, and this is why. Because in, in my world, if I wasn't streaming, this is what it would look like when I'm racing. Get some cool dark lighting, some contrasting keyboard colors. I'm assuming that that's like a rev limit bar or something maybe up there, those flashing lights. You can see he's got a wind sim on there. Pretty complete. Pretty solid. Anyway... Hopefully, if you are not proud of your rig, maybe one of these photos has motivated you to work on it. You got some time off through the holidays. Probably have some time off. Good time to work on your rig. All right, let's talk some sim pit racing, and then we'll bring today's show to a close. Starting off with the Poland Dirt Rally. This is the sim pit rally league, and I've been getting more and more deeper into this. Thursdays is when I usually make my run. Thursdays at sim pit live on Twitch is when I'll do my run, practice, and then my final run. Anyway, this week was my best week ever. 
That still left me sixth on the board. Randy Savage leading the way with a 15.05 on our two stages. Excuse me. Excuse me. David Clymer finishing in second, only two seconds back. Uh, TFR. I'm Yeah, TFR finishing in third. He was about 30 seconds back. And then he got to go a full minute back to find me and Alesh. Uh, Noir finishing fourth. Alesh Mom in fifth. And that's how that finished off for the week. I'm not sure where we are next week, but we'll, uh, I'm looking forward to it. I can tell you that. I'm loving our Dirt Rally League. Definitely loving our... We also have a historic Dirt Rally League. Uh, we also have the the Billy Strange Racing Sim Pit Tuesday Night Thunder 305 Sprint Car League starting up next Tuesday night. Um, so we're running Eldora. I'm sorry, USA on Tuesday. Uh, if you want to join that league, I think there are still spots, and it starts on Tuesday. Tuesday Night Thunder, look for that under the league section. And I, the reason I'm mentioning all of our leagues, we got our rally, we, which we have results for. We have speculation, because Tuesday night is the first race of the season in the Tuesday Night Thunder. And then at the beginning of the year, we're going to start racing again in both our Oval Series on Friday night, starting with Nashville on the 8th of January, and in the road league, in the GTE cars, we're starting off at Road Atlanta on the 10th. That's Sunday. Both of those leagues are open for registration. And the reason, again, I'm mentioning all of our leagues. If you want to join any of the racing, whether it's our league environment or our fun races that we do, we're going to have a lot of fun races between now and the, the new year, uh, type in exclamation mark discord and that'll give you a link to our discord channel you'll find uh conversation categories for all the various leagues you'll see posts in the main channel and people talking about what we have going on now so anyway uh last reminder there will be no show next week so i'm going to wish you a merry merry christmas a happy holidays a great holiday season a great end of the year all of that good stuff it's been a really interesting rockin', rocky road kind of a year, this 2020. And I want to thank you all for being part of the Sim Pit community. And, and despite what's going on, making the Sim Pit such a great place for me to be able to wake up each and every morning and be here with you guys. A great community, a great atmosphere, and just keeping the positive energy flowing for all the way through 2020 and into 21. 2021. So thank you again for being part of our team and Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and Happy New Year. There'll be no show next Friday. There probably won't be a show on New Year's Day. So we'll see you in 2020. But I'm going to be on the air a lot. We got a lot of racing and a lot of streams and probably a few reviews even coming before the end of the year. So don't count us out just yet. That's going to do it for this one. Get out there, do some sim racing. This is the Sim Pit. I'm Sean Cole, and I'll see you on the track.